My name is Aiko Pryor, but everyone calls me Coco. I grew up on the east side of Buffalo. I uh, lost my mom at the age of 13. It was kind of in the foster care system, went from house to house and whatnot, but you see it kind of all over the east side. It's so much beauty if they would just tear down these old abandoned buildings and whatnot. At first I thought I wanted to be an interior designer, but walking around on the east side, it was so many abandoned buildings. So I was like, <laughs> we would play Napoli and stuff, and I'd be like, oh, I'm going to rebuild Buffalo. And we're making my Monopoly board. Like, I used to say little stuff like that growing up. You know, as when we're kids, we'll say, oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. But then reality kind of hit us, and we forget about all what we wanted to do. I was a liberal arts in high school. And then I kind of got into the nursing field just because my mom and sister, they were in the nursing field. Your mom was a nurse, your sister is a nurse. You might as well be a nurse, but it just didn't fit right with me. Like, it's, I didn't have a passion for it. Even though I have passion for people, I didn't have a passion for the nursing field, so to say. Was there something that happened that made you change your mind? Uh, my little old lady died. So it was like, I was taking care of her for five, going on six years. She was basically like my grandmother. Um, she taught me her native language. She was from El Salvador. And she helped me to realize that that's not what I wanted out of life. When I fix her doorknob or when I repaint her room, she'd be like, I think you get much more out of life helping people who are in need. And I was like, that's what I do now. And she said, no, honey, you babysit. That's what you do now. <laughs> so she was just telling me to always push myself to do more. Like, don't settle for just what's comfortable. And she kind of put me back into perspective, like, oh, honey, this is your life. Go do what it is you want to do. Even if you fail, just get up with grace and do it again. And so when she died, it was more or less like when I was going back to school and I saw this opportunity, I said, I think I'll follow my heart this time. So I got into soccer, which was really amazing. Soccer is the Society of Advanced Construction Related Arts. When you come here, you learn woodwork, you learn painting, you learn the fundamentals and the basics, but it's a little bit more of a community background. They take you around the city so you know exactly what it is. And they see the flaws and they see how they can fix it and then they come back here and they start working on it until they get to fixing it. They reintroduced us to the city that raised us and like, you know, it gave me that open mind like, oh yeah, we definitely need to be above Buffalo. It's about that time. After coming here, we kind of helped organize and build the new um, stuff for it, like over here. I've done that little make and model. I did the dial house of the quarter model house. So I did a quarter model of the quarter model house. <laughs> I was so determined to finish that before graduation. <laughs> so everything in here is pretty much done by the classes. So it was like small steps into the big steps. And then we got to the porch project, which was like, ah, mind blowing. <laughs> Normal House um, it is a collab project with Push Buffalo. This is like the beginning of a regrowth of a community. You have your home garden, you have this neighborhood that's being redone. Everyone wants to have a nice, good city. Everyone wants to have that nice, beautiful home you know, live that American dream, but that American dream takes a lot of work. Me and my classmates, we will always say, oh, this is our porch, we're gonna come back and we're gonna <laughs> put a swing. We built these at the assembly house and they brought them here and actually attached them to the porches and stuff. So even the color, like, it pops. It's bringing back that sense of art, sense of pride in our community. I love it. This assembly house is an opportunity, is what it is to break that gap from what was and what's going to be. We're gonna need builders in the future if we want our city to keep thriving. We're gonna need those engineers, those plumbers, those electricians, like we're gonna need them. So this trade school and all the other programs that's coming together, they are definitely needed. For the years that it's gonna be standing here, I can say I did help build Buffalo. I might not be completely at my dream, but it's a start. Growing up, my grandfather, even he told me, baby, you're entering into a man's world. And I'm like, yeah, but I'm a woman. So, you know, it's like these hands can cook, but they can also build. 